His name was Marcelo Rivera. June 18, 2009 was the last day he was seen alive. Twelve days later, his tortured body was found at the bottom of a 60-foot well at the edge of a cornfield. The Attorney General's account is that he had been drinking with several gang members and was killed as a result of the fight that ensued. Pero esa es la hipótesis que manejó la fiscalía y la policía. Fue por violencia. Estaban tomando. Marcelo no toma. Eh, es con un martillo que le han pegado. En la autopsia no dice que tiene dos golpes con martillo en la nuca, como la PNC dice. Cuando revisamos la autopsia de medicina legal, dice que Marcelo murió por asfixia, estrangulamiento. Le quebraron su tráquea, o sea que fue con la cuerda. Marcelo, a teacher, was on his way to visit a family member in the neighboring town of Villabasco, intending to leave the following day for a workshop on strategic planning for nonprofits when he was kidnapped. Pacific Rim is a leading multinational mining corporation in El Salvador. For years, Pacific Rim, a Canadian company with a subsidiary in the United States, has been actively prepping for extracting gold from the El Dorado mine in El Salvador near the town of San Isidro in the northern department of Cabañas. There are an estimated 1.4 million ounces of gold at that location. Near the close of trading July 31st, the price of gold was $951.69 per ounce, making the potential value over 1.3 billion U.S. dollars. Pacific Rim is currently suing the country of El Salvador for $77 million, making the claim that having allowed exploration of gold on the El Dorado site, the government has no grounds to refuse mining extraction permits. Pacific Rim is presenting this suit under Chapter 10 of the Central American Free Trade Agreement, which provides for arbitration by an international tribunal under the auspices of the World Bank to resolve investment disputes between companies and countries. Pacific Rim's work towards acquiring extraction permits from the government of El Salvador was stalled by a collection of environmental and anti-mining organizations known as the National Working Group Against Mining in El Salvador. Combined with opposition from the Roman Catholic Church, former Salvadoran President Tony Saca, and current President Mauricio Funes. One of the leading local anti mining organizations is Friends of San Isidro Cabanas, known as ASIC. Marcelo Rivera and his brother Miguel co founded ASIC with members of both the San Isidro community and their partners in the United States. Marcelo was the director of ASIC. According to a 2009 study from Oxfam, Metallic mining in Central America uses exorbitant amounts of water, drying up wells, and contaminating groundwater with cyanide and heavy metals. El Salvador is particularly vulnerable, having, quote, no sparsely populated or remote areas in the country appropriate for mining. The people of Cabañas have experienced this vulnerability firsthand. Other mining in the region has led to the death and infertility of livestock, sickness among children, and lack of clean water. As an international company with hundreds of millions to gain from the El Dorado mines, Pacific Rim has undertaken sophisticated campaigns to buy the wills of communities and undermine, defame, and intimidate the anti-mining movement, including its leaders such as Marcelo. Eh, Pacific Rim convoca reunión a los empleados de la empresa, convoca a las familias de estos, pone las fotos de los líderes locales en contra de la empresa minera y les dice, estos son los responsables de que ustedes y sus hijos se queden sin alimentación, de que se cierren las fuentes de empleo. El alcalde municipal de esta ciudad, el ingeniero José Ignacio Bautista, más parece promotor de la empresa Pacific Ring, quien Pacific Ring le paga pasajes para salir al extranjero a Estados Unidos a promover la empresa Pacific Ring con la gente salvadoreña que ahí está, entonces pagado los viajes por ellos, Un alcalde tiene el rol de buscar desarrollo local en la comunidad, este alcalde no. Busca, el objetivo principal es que el proyecto de la empresa minera eh, se lleve a cabo. When Pacific Rim initiated their lawsuit against the country of El Salvador under the provisions of CAFTA, a treaty that does not include Canada, they were forced to utilize their dormant U.S. subsidiary in Reno, Nevada as the plaintiff in the case. In order to execute the mining at El Dorado, Pacific Rim needs the support, or silence, of the local population in San Isidro as well as shareholders in the United States. Marcelo Rivera refused to be silent. Regrettably, 
The Salvadoran police and attorney general's office have refused a full investigation into Marcelo's disappearance and murder. We tried repeatedly to meet with the attorney general or anyone in his office familiar with the case, and we were turned away. Given Marcelo's profile as a political opposition figure, the premeditated, brutal nature of his death, and the impunity which followed the crime, this murder precisely reflects the elements of a death squad assassination. Allegedly, the National Civil Police and the Attorney General have received evidence connecting Pacific Rim's business interests with the assassination of Marcelo Rivera. However, they have publicly discarded this line of investigation, attributing the crime to common delinquency. Ahora nosotros, como Procuraduría, el día lunes, lo que hemos pedido es simplemente que las instituciones cumplan con su mandato. Esperamos que la policía y la, y la Fiscalía General de la República hagan su trabajo. Local police have been informed that a six-figure sum of money was paid to a group of people, including known gang members, to silence Marcella. Seven of the supposed material authors are in custody. The question that authorities must answer is this. Who has the resources and the motivation to commit this crime? Please understand that I did not come to El Salvador looking for this story. Once I understood the details and met the people of a Sikh in San Isidro, I came to a personal commitment as an American that I find it unjust to allow corporations operating within U.S. borders to exploit and harass poor communities, creating conflicts that result in violent death. I invite you to take two steps with me. First, join an international campaign to demand that the Attorney General of El Salvador undertake a serious investigation into the disappearance and assassination of environmental activist Marcelo Rivera. The people who ordered the killing must be brought to justice along with those who carried it out. Second, urge your representatives in the Senate, Congress, and your local government to use all legal channels to investigate the actions of Pacific Rim in El Salvador, especially in relation to the death of Marcelo Rivera. His name was Marcelo Rivera, activist, educator, brother, son.